Hello, it's me, TFO Wilderness, and uh, yeah, today I'm doing something I've not done for a while, and that is a chewing the fat video. Um, yeah, chewing the fat video is where I uh, I switch on the camera, I sit in front of it, and, and I just waffle and natter about subject matters that I want to talk about. Usually um, something to do with my you know, Transformer Collecting or my YouTube channel or, or, or some other subject matter that I want to discuss openly on camera. Um, I haven't done one of these since November last year, so it's been over a year since I've done one of these. But every now and again, I, I, I feel, you know, I, I want to you know, talk about stuff, and, and this, this is my medium for doing it. I call it a chewing the fat video, uh, where I do exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah, so basically, um, the whole point of me doing this video now is that uh, I was looking at what videos uh, I'm going to be doing, well, what videos I've got left the end of, you know to the back end of this year you know, for the rest of the month I mean I've got my uh, my top box of the year video and I've got my um, my end of month bot haul and they'll be coming um, you know in, in the last couple of days uh, of the, this month you know like next week sometime and um, and I wanted to do a video before Christmas um, so this is it <laughs> this is my pre-Christmas video um, there's a couple of things I want to discuss uh, or talk about, and that's why I, I'm, I'm doing this as a chew of the fat. Um, the first one is um, uh, my last video, which was a, a KTRT review of um, uh, Dino Core uh, Evolution Mega D Fighter Tyranno, which I set as one of those um, YouTube premieres. Um, the reason being is that the week before, where I you know, did it, I did the last two KTRT reviews. I filmed them back to back, and the second one, I decided to set it as as a premiere the the following week, um, mainly because I wanted to see how this uh, premiere system worked, and uh, I did it as an experiment to see if it would improve the viewing figures on my KTRT reviews, which have been sort of tailing off of late. Um, now, when the video premiered on Thursday night. Um, it only got two viewers, uh, and that was me watching on two separate devices. Because you know, when it premieres, you know, you can watch it along with your subscribers, and you, you know, you can comment comment in uh, real time on the comment section. But um, it was only two people watching. It was me on two separate devices. No one else was watching. So, yeah, it was it was an experiment, and uh, it was a failure. So I won't be doing that again. <laughs> so yeah, it uh, it just didn't work. So never mind. But it did. Um, it did. Obviously, it has kind of highlighted uh, an issue with my channel, most notably. Uh, and actually, I, I what I did was um, after that, I, I looked back over all the videos I've done this year, and most notably, looking at the reviews I've done. I mean, I usually do sort of two to three reviews a month, and they've been largely KTRT reviews. You know, these Korean toys that I like to collect, and. Um, that's what I do. That's what my channel specialises in, and it's 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 what I do. But when it comes to official Transformer toys, reviewing official toys, um, in the last twelve months, I've only actually reviewed two, <laughs> uh, and that was um, uh, Fast Clash, uh, you know, uh, Siege on Cybertron, Fast Clash, a little legend figure that I did in January, and then then in March I did Universe Roadbuster. Uh, then also in May I did them free um, uh, KO gun bots that I got from uh, um, B and M home stores. But apart from that, it's been all Korean bots. And admittedly, you know, Korean bots are pretty much of no interest to the majority of Transformers collectors because they're not based on any Transformers characters, and they're, they're totally uh, new and original characters from these Korean shows and you know, majority of my subscribers couldn't give a monkeys about them. Um, I do have some people who do watch my videos regardless, and some people who perhaps do watch my videos for my Korean reviews. But on the most part, they're of limited interest to you know Transformers collectors at large who are watching their videos on YouTube. And uh, yeah, the viewing figures on my KTRTs has been steadily declining, even though my subscriber count has been sort of climbing it's now stabilized just under 400 subs um so yeah uh now i'm, I'm thinking perhaps i need to address this matter um 
So what I'm thinking of doing is next year, starting next year, I'm going to endeavour to, I'm still going to be reviewing, buying and reviewing my KTRTs, but I'm going to try and do at least one, possibly two um, official you know, transformer reviews or third party reviews to supplement my, you know, my, my Korean bots. And I was thinking about uh, making some changes to my end of month bot hauls because I, every every year uh, I like to tweak the format for my uh, end of month bot haul slightly. I'll change the the thumbnail on the video and I might change the way I do things slightly. Uh, one of the things I was thinking of doing is that I might be suggesting that uh, once I've shown you all the bots I've got in a particular month, um, if anybody in the comments would like me to review um, one of the other the non-Korean bots would like me to review it the following month, then you know put put it down in the comments section. And that was one thing I was thinking about doing. Um, the other one is I could just decide off the cuff I'm I'm going to review you know a third party bot or or an official bot. But anyway, I'm going to try and and sort this out um, in the new year. I'm going to try to do more official stuff. I'm still going to do the Korean stuff, but I'm going to try and do more uh, official stuff which will probably happen at the beginning of the month because I usually order my uh, my KTRT bots at the beginning of the month and it usually takes two to three weeks for them to arrive they usually arri arrive towards sort of the middle of the month so the first couple of weeks is when I will probably do the the, the other reviews um, obviously my um, I am planning on doing a um, another uh, uh, restoration series, you know, G1 restoration series next year, but it'll, it'll only be a short series. It'll probably only be two or three episodes, and I'm going to wait until I've got all the parts together before I make a start on it. Uh, I've made a start getting the parts. I've got the first two parts. I've got two more parts I need to get. I need to get some decals, and uh, yeah, I, I need to look into that. But uh, I'm not going to make a start on that until probably I don't know April May time. I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, I have got another one in in, in the works. Um, but I'm not going to drag it out like I did my Ultra Magnus review. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, right. Uh, yeah. So uh, next thing I want to discuss. Um, yeah. Obviously, I I do this thing every year. This uh, like a uh, an annual tradition where I do what I refer to as my pre-Christmas toy hunt when I go on a toy hunt around Coventry. Um, in previous years, I know I used to do Smiths and Toys R Us, and then I'll probably maybe take in a couple of B&M home stores and then go into the Comfort Town Centre, go to Forbidden Planet, possibly Entertainer, and maybe stop off at some supermarkets. Um, this year, obviously, no Toys R Us, so no. And it, it did put a bit of a crimp on my uh, my buying st uh, strategy, though I, I did do quite well on what I bought, I think. I, I, I got lucky in a, a couple of instances on some of the, the figures I was out after, and I, I did buy the majority of what I, I set out to get. So, um, but you know, you'll see that on my end of month bot haul. But the one thing I did get was I got my first bot bot. Now, as you can see, I haven't opened him yet. You know, the, 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 the seal is still on the back. Now, I'm going to open this as part of my end of month bot haul. So I'm not going to open it until, you know, Monday the 31st. However, I think I know who's in this, right? I think I figured out who's in it. I'm going to make a prediction as to who I think is in it, and I think it's it's this guy here, this guy, Mr. Say Cheese, the, the camera bot. Now I think it's him. Um, I'm not going to tell you why I know this. I'm just making a prediction. So I think in this blind packet is say cheese so i'm just going to put this out there uh and, you know set it up for my end of book bot haul when I, I i do the unboxing on this and yeah as you can see yeah uh, the the thing is, is is still sealed i haven't opened it haven't tampered with it so when i do that video i will be unboxing this and you'll see who's in there but i think i'm predicting it's it's say cheese so uh, uh there's that and uh, right, so yeah, um, other things that I'll be doing um, before the end of the year, I mean on December the 27th, which is um, Thursday, 
uh, be doing the NEC Toy Fair, the, the pre-Christmas, well, no, the post-Christmas NEC Toy Fair, should I say. Uh, again, this is a, a bit of a tradition that I like to do um, every year. Uh, the NEC, the, the biggest sort of toy collector's fair in the country, they, they usually have one on December the 27th between sort of Christmas and New Year. Um, I've been to it the last, well, since I've been a Transformers collector in 2014, I've done it every single year uh, and I'm going. Fingers crossed, I might be, you know, meeting up with uh, a couple of other YouTubers, uh, Mr. Zort Rider and, and his mates and possibly... Um, Matthew Grant, the toy therapist, I need to have a word with him on WhatsApp to find out whether he can make it because he, he says he might be working, but I, I don't know. But hopefully I'll be able to uh, hook up with those guys. So I'm going to be uh, going going to that on the 27th. Um, probably won't be doing a video on it. I, I, sometimes I do videos on it. Um, I probably won't do one this year, but I, I will. It'll, you'll, you'll see what I get from it as part of my end of my butthole anyway. Uh, right, so the, the 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 one other thing I want to talk about um, now, obviously there's this this thing that's been going around for a number of years, you know, TF of twenty whatever, you know these 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 best bots of the year collection videos that people do. I mean, um, I done I did uh, TF fourteen to twenty fourteen, I did the TF fifteen to twenty fifteen, I did the TF sixteen to twenty sixteen. And last year, I didn't do the TF17 of 2017. Uh, I did like a, a TF10 of 2017. Uh, the reason being, uh, last year, I really struggled to pick 10 best bots of the year, let alone 17. You know, I, I, I couldn't stretch to 17. I, I struggled to get 10, so I just did a top 10. However, this year, I can confirm I will be doing the TF18 of 2018 because... It's all part of this, the changes that I made to my end of month bot hauls this year. At the end of the, the video, I do what I refer to as the first and worst. And what I do is I, I look at all the bots I get in any given month. I pick my most favourite bot and my least favourite bot and I hold them up in front of the camera and say, here's the first, here's the worst. And because of that, um, I, uh, I'm going to have at least 12 guaranteed top bots of the year, 12 favourites. And it's only a simple matter. I've only got to find six more and I've got my 18. And when I look back at the um, the bots I bought over the year, uh, there are quite a few others that, that jump out as being ones that, yeah, this is a pretty good bot. This deserves to be on the list. So um, as it stands, I and mean, I still haven't decided on my December bot because I've still got a few more bots to buy at the NEC Toy Fair, but I'm pretty, pretty I'm fairly convinced I know which one it's going to be. Um, but then there's these these other bots. I mean, on certain months it was a bit of a, a bit of a, a sticky wicket as to which bot was going to be the best bot, and I had a choice of probably two or three bots. It could have been the best bot, so I I, I just picked one for whatever reason, and then the the other two were almost as good and you know I, I know I've, I've picked some of those so yeah I, I've got more than enough bots on the list you know to do a, a TF18 to 2018 including some you know um, honorable mentions so I will be doing a TF18 to 2018 this year I can confirm that um yeah so that's pretty much it um that's all I, I wanted to talk about um uh, yeah, just discuss a few things like my, my plans to increase increase my uh, output of uh, official Transformer reviews next year, <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, twenty eight TF twenty TF eighteen and twenty eighteen plans and, and and stuff like that. So yeah, um, hopefully you've uh, sat through this me just just talking about rubbish for the last how many minutes it's been. Uh, so yeah, I'm TFR Wilderness. This is my chewing the fat for uh, December the 22nd, 2018, and uh, I will catch you again um, next week for my uh, TF18 and 2018 video. So uh, I've been TFR Wilderness. I'll catch you all next time. Ta-da.